In this video, we will be talking about images for Cargo Collective website. I'll show you two possible ways how to upload images uh, into your Cargo website and how to gain more control over their size. Uh, because if you try to work uh, with uh, Cargo images, you may know that it's not really easy to customize. Uh, but before that, uh, we need to prepare our images. Uh, this is one of my websites. It's called the Design Dump. And here I have uh, like several useful links for web designers. And uh, let's check my tools for images. And the second one is image compressor. So you can use any other compressor, but I just like this one because it's free and it's not limited. And if I upload an image here, uh, you can see that it has a pretty large site for a website. And uh, yeah, now it's mm, the size of this file is much smaller. That's what we want to get. And uh, we do not lose any quality here. So let's go back to Cargo. So the first way how to upload an image is uh, the easiest way uh, using Cargo panels. So we have upload new button here. And if we click this button, uh, we will be able to choose an image we want. And uh, uh, when it's been uploaded, we can simply drag and drop it. And using this black arrow, we can control its scale. Yeah, uh, so image is gonna be responsive. Let me show you how it works. Uh, if I open just inspect view, uh, I will be able to see how it works. But note that uh, when this image reaches uh, its initial size, let's say 300 pixels, it won't go uh, any larger. So it won't be fully responsive. Um, and yeah, this is like an only one way how it uh, may work. And if you go to your code view, you will see something like that. You will see like a name of your image and its scale. That's how you can control uh, the scale of your image manually. No, do not using this arrow, but this is going to be the same. And probably last thing you can do the, uh, here is just uh, restrict zooming. So when I click uh, an image, um, I will be able to zoom it. But uh, if you want to block this feature, just uh, type no zoom equals true. Yeah. And after that, uh, you won't be able to zoom your image or click on it. So that's how it works. This is the first way, uh, but you may note that it's not that uh, easy to control it, its uh, size, only scaling. So that let me show you another way how to work with images. Another way how to upload images uh, is using this file icon. Uh, you can upload your image here. And when you see your image in the list, you will be able to copy its link. Yeah, click on the image and copy this link. Then go back to your code view. Let's remove this image. So now our page is completely empty. And let's create a new tag called image. Yeah, here you need to add source. And the source is going to be our link. Uh, let's check how it looks now. Now you can see uh, that we have our image here, but it is too large. Uh, so it happens just because this image has its natural size, but we can fix that easily. Uh, we can control its size uh, using CSS panel, but I'm going to show you how to do that uh, directly in this line. Let's say style. And here we need to define its uh, properties. Let's start with width. Let's say 300 pixels. And height is going to be auto. That's how we can keep uh, the image ratio. Yeah, something like that. And now you can see that it won't be responsive anymore just because we used pixels and pixels is um, really static uh, value, but we can also use percents or we can use uh, viewport width or viewport height. You can check uh, all these values and all these um, 
things but i'm going to proceed with pixels now just to show you how it works but what if i want uh, this image to be a square let's say 300 pixels here now uh, it changed its size but we also see that um, it's filled not the way we want so how to fix this thing you just need to uh, add two more attributes here first one is going to be object fit and the value is going to be cover yeah now uh, our image feels all this square and let's say we want to keep uh, the top of uh, this image untouched uh, i don't know sometimes it's necessary but uh, i'm just going to show you how to do that there is another attribute called object position and let's uh, well first of all if i would say something like that uh, we will keep the center of the image on its place and everything around uh, will be cut. But what if I change uh, this value to zero? Uh, this value is responsive, uh, responsible for uh, these sides, uh, like uh, its horizontal position and this one is vertical position. If I say zero uh, percent, that means that the top of the image is going to be untouched. Yeah, and now you can see that uh, we cut the rest of the image here, but uh, it starts at the very beginning point of the image itself. That's how you can control a placement. Yeah, now uh, we did absolutely the same thing. So like the bottom is fixed and everything which goes above uh, will be cut. Uh, so this is pretty simple way how to upload your images. You can also resize your images for your mobile version, but uh, I've already made a video about resizing your text elements. Uh, well, it's going to be pretty the same uh, here. It's just you need to use media screen. And uh, you also can use these images uh, for grids. Uh, let me show you. Just select them and create a new grid. So they're going to be working the same way. And uh, this is a kind of easy way how to work with images uh, on cargo and how to control their size completely. Thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tips about Cargo Collective. Goodbye.